continue watching if you want to learn how to create luxury art like the one behind me that I created on a budget. The first thing you want to start off with is taking inspiration from an art piece that you have seen before or that you are looking to have in your home. So go in person, see the actual artwork or go online and get different inspirations that are going to help you envision the vision that you want to create. Um, every different art piece that you see is going to have a certain style and the best thing you can do is do it to your own uh, capacity. Don't try to be a perfectionist to try to do it exactly how it is with the same texture or items or tools that they use because it's going to be impossible. Be your own artist and create your own vision and artwork how you like. Um, that way, when you display it, you can say, hey, probably this is what I did. You want to do whenever you are going to create a demo art piece, you want to start with a small canvas you can start actually seeing how the texture is going to be um, the tools you're going to use the effects that you want to create in your artwork and just express yourself feel free to use the tools and the movement that you like but the whole purpose of actually doing a demo art is to be able to feel comfortable whenever you're going to start creating the larger art piece and also to see what mistakes you might be running into and seeing how the plaster is going to dry, if it's going to create an effect, is it going to crack? And also how much plaster can you use without actually affecting the canvas or affecting the outcome of the artwork? Uh, you, once it dries up, you can also see what colors you're going to be using, what effects you want to be creating with the color and how you're going to be cleaning the actual artwork at the end. Now, throughout the video, you can see the different textures that I started using. I wasn't sure at the moment whether I wanted to use the inspiration from the artwork that I saw at the beginning, which were more into the linear or more cub cubical or even just different texture, a mix of texture. But the good thing about plaster is that if you do not like something that you did, you can just easily erase it by just wiping it right off. And you can add more plaster if you want to create thicker effects. But go ahead and have fun. I felt throughout the whole process as I was caking an actual cake with different frosties. So I just had fun. Um, I tried not to let this process stress me out. So that's my best recommendation is go out there, have fun. Um, it doesn't matter how the artwork comes out. The beauty of it is that you created this artwork, that you use your your positive vibes in creating an artwork that expresses who you are and you're going to display it out there and people get to see that beauty that you created. And it, this project can even be a family project that you can do together. Um, it's not expensive to create. Uh, a small canvas um, can actually be more easier to work with compared to the canvas that I am planning to use, which is a large canvas. Here in the video, you can see that I played with different tools. I used some cake frosting tools to create textures, or I also ended up using towards the end in the larger artwork, an actual tool that you use for um, flooring. We're finding my canvas, 40 by 60. I was ready to pay and after four hours later being in line with Ed Ross and fighting my canvas to be able to fit it in the car then I went out to the Dollar Tree and compare the prices to the ones in Home Depot I was able to find the same tools that I was gonna use for the project at a cheaper price at Dollar Tree as you can see here the same tool is for five dollars and 98 cents there's different tools that you can use to create the pattern as seen in the videos but uh the most uh, popular tool that most of the artists you use is usually flooring tools uh, as you can see there's different types of tools that you can use to create a different pattern now the plaster that you're going to be using is going to be the all-purpose plaster it is 16 dollars with 78 cents it is easy to work with and also clean uh, these are the main uh, tools that you're going to be using now that you have gathered all the needed supplies to start 
working on your large piece and created a demo piece that's going to help you know specifically in what direction you're going to go and become familiarized with how to use each tool you can start already applying the plaster as you can see here i'm applying the plaster with a spatula doesn't matter if it's a a plastic or if it's metal they do the same thing uh, now you're gonna go ahead and apply the amount of plaster that you feel comfortable whether it's gonna be a large amount or a soft amount depending on the effect that you're going for just remember that the more plaster you apply you run the risk of the actual plaster cracking because it starts separating uh, the product once it dries because the canvas it's more flexible compared to the plaster being more solid here you can see me use a cake tool to start testing the actual plaster and seeing how the depth of the actual lines that I want to create. Uh, I start just practicing using the tool, seeing how it works. Do I want to do a layover of actual lines? Do I want more of that uh, flat area or do I want to create pattern with the actual spatula? So here you can see how I'm going back and forth, practicing and then at the end of the day, I decided not to keep it and I decided to go more for that uh, plaster effect to create more texture. Uh, later on, you're gonna see that I go back and create only certain sections and then layer it on top with more plaster. Here you can see how I'm just moving the plaster around to make sure that it's even throughout the whole canvas and start uh, moving my plaster around and now start actually using the design that I want. And part of using the design is gonna help me see my vision and where do I want the end piece to be. After I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and let the artwork dry overnight. I let it dry a little bit, about 10 hours, I would say, approximately. I did notice that there was some cracking in the artwork in the areas that I left too thick with plaster, but my plan is to go back and seal it up with actual um, epoxy and also go ahead and use paint that's gonna help to bring all the artwork together. to like and subscribe for more fun videos.